We brought three of our strangest off-road machines to the world's hardest off-road race. For drag racing, monster trucks, amateur rock crawling, and the greatest off-road party we have ever seen. Our friends Clinton and Justin joined us for one of the wildest weeks we've ever had. We're getting you in a race car. This is King of the Hammers. You know you're loading up for a sketchy trip if loading the car is sketchy. Do you think the dinosaurs got better fuel mileage in the tundra? Probably. I mean, my tundra's running on dinosaurs, so like, if you go straight to the source, I think you get there faster. <laughs> That's quite a combo right there. Oh, oh, yeah, I've never it. been here before, <laughs> you know, I do oh, know you yeah. guys. Good! We made it! It was, uh, How was the trip? 900 miles today, so... Ooh, so you're ready for a ish. shower and a... Probably not even that, just straight to bed. <laughs> straight to bed, <laughs> huh? This is Clinton and hey, uh, Justin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Those are our Humvees! Well, not exactly, but we're in Yermo, California, and that's where our Humvees are. We bought them very soon. We will be bringing them home. Well, it's our first morning here in Hammertown. We're gonna go out into the desert, do a photo shoot, and the word on the street is we get to ride in some race trucks. The K truck is like it, it's rad. It's it's capable, but man, those whoops yeah, are we're, rough. We're not be in this up. Thing. Okay. You ready, dude? I'm ready. So we're gonna put you in with Dusty. We know you want to get in an IFS car. We'll find one for you. That's okay. But I'm not complaining about that. I think that he has a secret love for straight axle swaps. So he doesn't tell anyone. I am a closeted. Yes, that's that's what I'm, I'm a closeted sass boy. I've yes. heard this. It's probably true. I'm coming out today. Have some fun. And uh, if he wants to, he can take a rip in that. All right. It's not exactly a passenger experience, but let's be honest. This is why I came. Yes, 100%. When Nick said we'll be able to put you in a race car, I said say less. All, all I heard was road noise. I'm yeah. like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm on my way. I'm like, it's not for another three weeks. Turn around and go, I'll just come back later. <laughs>
<laughs> I like to hate on Solid Actualus because of how upset it makes people. I understand that they can be made into incredibly good race cars, and there's a very good reason why the vast majority of the cars here are Solid Axle. I just like to be different. You are. What kind of surprise is that? I mean, you know. Definitely hopped in the right car, regardless of suspension. That dude parties. That said, when I hopped out, I offered to let him ride in ours. He said, F that! <laughs> Need roosties. Oh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. That was second gear. Looks like ready. we got an issue there. Uh, the rear radiator fan seems to be not working lately. So as long as I was moving, it was fine. As soon as I stopped, it started boiling. So, you know, you'll have that on these bigger jobs. <laughs> Where'd you go, Ed? Yeah. I'm planning our next limo adventure slash snowmobile adventure with onyx off-road man it's the best place to find trails that you can access legally and if you're offline like i am right now just gotta switch a rooney to your offline map go to whichever one you need and there you go there's a snowmobile trail we're looking at man onyx off-road is like a one-stop shop for everything you want to do outside you can see private, public lands, trails, trail ratings. A lot of times there's even curated pictures and information about the trail. You can select if you have a high clearance vehicle or not. Whatever you need, it's here on Onyx Off-Road. And if you use our link in our description, you can try it out seven days for free. still cooling off a little bit, so uh, I figured might as well see how the K-Truck does in the sand. I've never had it in sand before. compared to everything else we've seen on this day. It feels really lame, <laughs> yeah. I think we need to go find some like rock crawling for yeah, this I to look so, interesting. Yeah. Oh! Oh, wow, all right. Number six on the weekend. Do you think he's gonna make it up in it? <laughs> I was, I was hopeful, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I think gas pedal will do a lot. I don't think there's a 0% chance. No, not at all.
the idea is to put the front tire of the monster chopper into the back of the K truck to transport it. That's all we need right there. So, would this be considered premium use? <laughs> yes, this is the most premium use. First power test drive of the chopper! It's not powered by itself, but it's powered by that! Invited to a uh, sick drag race out here on this dry lake bed with Optima and uh, a whole bunch of cool stuff. Look at that. There's two Unimogs over there. There's a monster truck. There's Porsche. a Porsche. There's. We, we brought this. So this will actually probably be a new top speed run record. First time ever, actually, in this thing. So I'll probably get my phone recording in the pocket and see what it says. <laughs> yeah, that's how do, you, how do you think you're doing a head to head with that Porsche over there? <laughs> I might get him off the line. <laughs> The lineup of cars they have here is insane. The fact that the Colonel is sitting pretty much next to a monster truck, completely, completely opposite. I guess it's my turn to race. This is wildly terrifying. Yeah, they called me a lawnmower. That's rude. That's <laughs> kind of that is kind of rude. That was like fourth gear, I think. I don't think I hit even fifth. Did it feel good? Oh, it felt great. Yeah, it's stable as heck. Nice. There was, yeah, first gear I could have shifted a little sooner. I think third I bogged a little bit when I hit it. So like, and the launch I definitely could have launched harder. It felt great, honestly. I always like think about everything right before I take off. And then once you go, you're like, oh, right. This is perfect. <laughs> it felt totally great, totally stable. I could have shifted a little better. What's um, the fastest you gone in any of your power wheels? Actually, the Barbie Jeep. Yeah. We had the whole Mojave, um, or the Honda test facility in Mojave Desert for um, uh, Jay Leno's, and I did 85 on the Barbie Jeep. So. Do you think it's got it? This? Yeah. Oh, it's got 85 easily. I wasn't done accelerating by any means, and I had two more gears to go. All of my grease has left the chat, so I gotta. Oh, also the yeah the bolt the bolt that holds that on is also loosening up. <laughs> But the good news is the nut can't actually back all the way off because the nut runs into the end of the axle, I think, so. I think.
was that? Oh, it was a blast. Yeah? Yeah. If I had if I had it tuned right, it'd have so much more top end. I went out there and just went for the for basically full speed. And I mean maybe I could have got a little faster with a longer run, but basically I was just running into the bog range of the RPM and throttle. Yeah. And yeah. there's so much more power there, it's just never been tuned right. So probably a little low on fuel too. It is. <laughs> that wouldn't matter for the drag, but like if I started yeah. if I drift left, it fills up the tank where the fuel sending unit is, or the pickup. And if I drift right, it flows to the other tank. So if I start spluttering, I just gotta drift left for a minute and it flows over there. <laughs> you just gotta finesse it and yeah. then you got all the fuel. Yeah. Wise words? Wise words with Clinton? I think, isn't it wise words with Will? It's supposed to be, but you know, wise yeah. words with Clinton. I don't know, what'd you think? I think that was awesome. It's just really cool to see all these different styles of builds all in so one different. spot. Like yeah. it's not like Hammer Town where it's all like just race cars. Yeah, and like, to meet the drivers like Lauren yeah. Haley, Chris Forsberg, like all those guys are just monster trucks out here sent power them. wheels. Who'd have thought they'd be together? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's right? an absolute rad time. It's a good thing we brought the K truck because we got invited to a K truck meetup over at Laser Town. Right, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, it's tempting. Come on. <laughs> well, it's ready for a ride, for sure. You, you take wanna... this for a ride, I'll take that for a ride. <laughs> I find it a little ironic that the guys who pulled up in this pulled up to like check out our stuff just to me that thing is beautiful I mean, it's not ironic it's just it's cool you know like riding something that cool and still think our stuff's cool that's a lot of cool it's like set up like an actual race car like, right yeah it's the, the two yeah it's set up for high-speed desert tires, stuff yeah yeah, awesome. yeah. rear-wheel drive Air tire. that thing is very cool watched our Moab video from many years ago. This is the man that drove, I don't know, a couple hours to bring us a spindle to fix the taco. Yeah, you gotta, you, Toyota people help Toyota people. Exactly. <laughs> see one of the best parts of King of the Hammers is what people do when they're not racing. But I think we've played around long enough. Let's watch some racing. Listen to you, man. <laughs> Letting that bomber eat as it picks its way out towards the cross grain tracks. Okay, here we go. He's coming down into back door now. This is Cole Clark was our fastest qualifier here a couple of years ago. But technical issues stopped him from racing. There it is, oh, he just went to the drop. Makes it nice and slow, doesn't jump in, but it's still This course has a little bit of everything, and it literally shows you who is the most rounded of our King of the Hammers drivers. It is a mini King of the Hammers in three and a half miles. Yes, it is. It's three and a half miles is definitely going to get you in some of the areas, but like you're saying, it's a, like a mini Hammers of the qualifying course. You big Honda Ridgeline guy? <laughs> no, but I am a big Humvee guy, and this chassis is mostly Humvee. joking all week about premium. I'm like premium. We got another guy's car. There you go. It is a joke for us too. So, all right. Yeah. You do the honors. Pick your spot. All right. Pick your spot. This race car has hexagons all over it, so clearly it is premium. But I'm going to put that the other direction so that you can read it while you're driving. Do it, dude. Do it. It'll inspire me to go faster. This is, I think, the first premium sticker on an actual race car, so I think that means that you're going to win. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.
idea what's going on here, but uh, we heard something about crazy carts and racing, so I brought my helmet and we're in a giant tent with a plastic floor and uh, I'm gonna try to drive a crazy cart. Uh -huh. So you're telling me those are pro drifters you're going up against? Yeah, that's Chris Forsberg and Von Gittin Jr. They're both pro drifters. And if they're running into walls at that rate, I'm not going to be even on the course. I think Ethan's got a shot. Oh, dude. He's going to bring home the win. Got to represent Brian Hard to the fullest. He's going to take that all the way to the top, all the way up. being an exception. These last few side-by-sides that went through here had to winch up that. And that's the same spot that I drove up yesterday with the K-Tron. Right right I don't feel so bad about our winching now. <laughs> What a good view of Hammertown you have from like This is a great area. view of Hammertown, for sure. You can see the Ferris wheel and everything. Yeah. Smoke. It's really cool seeing like the really cheap racers in this. And, yeah. Like, trying to be competitive, just trying to survive and doing the same obstacles that the buggies are or those like side by side to do the trip. The little samurai that could. Look at that little guy go. Not 
Old Samurai didn't uh, fare quite so well as the first one. He made a valiant effort to pass this giant line of cars and uh, ended up upside down. We've been at Hammertown for a week. It feels like we've probably just lived here forever now. Yeah. This is just our lives. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here before this line of moving cars turns into a line of not, not moving, moving cars. cars. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha.